Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This is episode 12. There ain't no stopping this train that we're on. We have arrived at Costa del Sol. Last time we traveled on the cruise ship in chapter five, won a Queen's Blood tournament, had a little bit of a sprinkle of cosmic horror in there and uh, arrived in one piece. Uh, we're now going to be checking out this vacation resort. We've got our lays, we've got our group. Let's charge in, let's check out Costa del Sol. Very, very excited. And as we finally arrive to a new continent, pull yourself out of here for a sec and just the fact that we have, if it allows me to pull all the way out here, to the world map. Look at that! <laughs> it's like, and the fact that there's still so much more to come, I, j I just can't even get that out of my mind when you're just thinking about the fact that there are still so many major beats that have been untouched that we have laying in wait in this game. Part three of the remake trilogy is about to completely overwhelm us. <laughs> We're not ready. That's why we have to split it up in parts. It would be too damn much for us to handle. But this is great. We're in the Corel region. And we can finally have a look at this beautiful place. Only way to beat this kind of heat is to go for a swim. Look at the little scooters, dude. Oh my god. Who needs a chocobo when you've got wheelies? They offer an easy way to explore the sites of Costa del Sol. Accelerate, reverse, and steer. Check in at the tourist information center to receive rewards based on your total distance traveled. <laughs> okay. Test drive event. Oh, the dual sense triggers make it uh, a, a, a joy to ride. Here we go. Whee! Okay. I'm riding. Are they, and everyone else has to just follow me. Oh, Tifa's uh, lay is glitching. This is the helipad where uh, Rufus should depart from. Got it so... Ugh. <laughs> it runs so weirdly. Oh, yep, look, we're grinding. There you go. Can we already break it? Ugh. You should be able to get knocked off. That would be hilarious. You just, like, charge into something. We travel in a distance. Get out of the way! I need, like, a... Uh, I need a horn. Run wild, pirates rampage, surf and suntan. Oh, dude. Seeing, like, uh, the surf and suntan one. Just evoking those that imagery of the original game right there. You're like, oh. I can't get on one of these wheelies right now because I want to slowly take in the environment. So I'm just, like, slowly traveling as I look at everything. I'm just happy to be back on Where's the plane? Welcome! Uh, okay. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, and there's another one of those docks. And you want to travel between your regions. Turn around, I'm trying my best. I paint what I see, and I sell what I paint, so I travel in search of inspiration. Love the empty canvas. He's doing well. Oh my god. <laughs> this is how we get around. Yep, okay. I gotta... <laughs> Alright. There we go. How's that world intel going, Chadley? Shake it, shake it. Lucy goosey Welcome to Costa del Sol. Have you tried this dance before? I didn't think myself a dancer, but I'm starting to see the appeal. Perhaps you might like to cut a rug with me sometime? Cut a rug with me sometime, huh? Uh, we've got gravity. So we get Demi, HP absorption, ATB boost, and auto weapon ability materia. That's cool. That's some, uh, that's some good materia for us to, to get a hold of, actually. And the combat simulator has added Alexander, but we're going to have to find those summon crystals first. I look seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. A changing booth, okay. 
Can Barrett change into his sailor uniform? Please tell me that that's possible. Whoa. Look at these. I like the orange chocobos. They're making a search for the hotel first. This is our tourist booth. Hang loose. Want to know what Costa del Sol has to offer? Then we've got you covered. What would you like to learn about? Our beach is host to a number of fun activities. Surf, scuba, and even chocoboat. But chilling with a cocktail is also a great option. Chocoboat. You'll find a bevy of fantastic shops lining Main Street. If you plan to spend the day shopping, I'd recommend getting a wheelie. They're fun and convenient. Bar del Sol is a hot spot that is not to be missed. Not only do they serve the best seafood around, but they also have amazing drinks that'll knock you off your feet. Be careful not to overindulge. We don't want you getting sick. While we have plenty of options, you can't go wrong with either the Royal Coast or Costa del Sol Resort. Unfortunately, according to my records, every hotel is booked solid today. Unless there's a cancellation, it'll be hard to find a room. Okay. We'll try our best. Hang loose! Today's your lucky day. There's a surefire way to make seeing the sights even more magical by taking them in on a state-of-the-art wheelie. If you're interested, we're doing a special promotion. What do you say? Just hop on one of these babies and ride around town at your leisure. That's it. No strings attached. You can even win fabulous prizes, depending on how far you travel. So how about it, friend? Interested in taking a roll around Costa del Sol? A roll around the Sol? 4,000 meters gives us the pedometer pin. I can do that easy. Now that's what I like to hear. And just like that, you're registered and ready to get rolling. Let's see what the odometer says, shall we? Congratulations! You've ridden enough to earn yourself a rookie license. The great thing about wheelies is how little Mako they use. They're super eco-friendly. So keep doing the planet a favor and enjoy your wheelie time. Wheelie time. Will do. We're on our side quest board, but I don't think we've got any. Yeah, nothing at this time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hang loose. Welcome to the Hang loose. So there's no um there's no plane chilling nearby like there there is in the original. What is this? The card carnival. I hate to say this, but we're closed at the moment. Please come back later. Closed. Welcome. The Queen's Blood Vendor. The High Seas Horror. The Shallow Pod and the Crown Lamps. Gotcha. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. We will have Queen's Blood here at some point. Look at all of the tables. <laughs> Turning around is an interesting. It's funny that I'm the only one riding the wheelie. Estudio de la Luna. Red Island. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like how they've got custom ones. You're like, I want to get on one of these. Give me one of these. And all our hotels are totally fun. The Pirate's Rampage. I'm very sorry, but we're still getting set up. Please, come back later. We got the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. We're going to be able to engage in all of the mini games after we sleep at the hotel. Alright, let's do the hotel. Everyone's lays have come off, I can see it. <laughs> They're all like hanging on by a thread. Oh, Yuffie! Oh, she's doing her Descendant of Shinobi theme. Hey, Cloud, want some ice cream to cool down? 
Or are you looking for something hot? Just admit it. You're obviously captivated by my bodacious speech bot. Uh, you're a child. Come on. Can't you take a hint? Hmm. I have no idea what you're talking about. But if I was part of the group, I'm sure we'd learn to communicate much better. <laughs> Vanishing act. If I was part of the group, they just keep, like, teasing us with it. I'm like, come on, Yuffie. No, thank you. Think of the comic relief I bring to the team, as well as some much-needed youthful energy. Um... I've never smelled any cooking like that before. Uh, what <laughs> Think of the comic relief I bring to the team, as well as some much-needed youthful... Okay! That's funny that she's there. And now I have to wait and see how Kyrie is going to get involved in this as well, because she'll probably find her way over somehow. If you're exploring, you may as well be on wheelie. <laughs> oh, sorry. No. Well, this is what I have to say about that. Why can't I wheelie everywhere? Huh? This is Ghost of Del Sol. <laughs> I can do what I want. <laughs> Have I just ridden around until I got to 4,000? The answer is yes. I got to 4,000 as I approached the center. For taking that wheelie of ours for a test drive. Give me all of my rewards, please. Let's see what the odometer says, shall we? Wow, congratulations! It is my honor to present you with this Wheelie Master License. You, my friend, have become a living legend today, the lone rolling star of Costa del Sol. This prize is reserved for those who have proven themselves a demon on wheelies. Here, you earned it. Once again, congratulations. May you keep rolling safely and smoothly. <laughs> Demon on wheelies. Um, I had to do it immediately. I was like, I'll just ride. I'll just ride the 4,000 meters. I'll get my rewards now, thank you. <laughs> somebody just like, help somebody! Oh, I see a piano icon nearby. Very good. Okay. So we've got uh, Costa del Sol Resort and the Royal Coast. And a moment's rest. So it seems that this is where we need to be. So we'll head to this one. Monster Burger's calling your name. Come we hope you enjoy your time. We're only accepting customers with prior reservations today. We hope to see you again soon. Queen's blood. Okay. Tifa! Cloud, my bro! Tifa! Johnny's back. There he is. Hello, Yuri Lowenthal. Johnny? Yes. <sighs> Whew. Hey, guys. Looking good. <laughs> Same to you. So, what are you doing here? Living the dream. Building my legend. Being the owner of a bona fide hotel, though not exactly a luxury one. What a coincidence! We were just looking for a place to stay. Do you have any rooms? Do I have rooms? I got rooms for days! Enough rooms to make your head spin! <laughs> That's what happens when you have no guests. <laughs> I don't know about this. Don't need to be shy. We go way back, right? <laughs> Do. All right, let's get you settled in. Now, Johnny's hotel, dude. Of course, come on. Because <laughs> in the original game, Johnny was Make also sure here. Close. Can't have my guests oh, getting my lost. And you can also buy a hotel. Place, so I'm still doing repairs here and there, but all things considered, it's looking pretty sweet. Now I got my hands on it, though. <laughs> now that's a story. I was cursed with the unholy trinity. No job, no money, and worst of all, no girl. I was a nobody with nothing, walking garbage. But Mayor Capono believed in me. 
Oh my said god. I was destined to make something of myself. So he Fine to you. Tell for cheap. How cheap, you ask? Half market price cheap. The dude even loaned me the money for it. There's no kinder man in all the world. So he gave you the money for the hotel. He gave you the hotel. And he said, good luck. Where are we going? The outskirts of town, huh? Oh my god, Johnny's what? Johnny's Seaside Inn. Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> Behold my pride and joy, Johnny's Seaside Inn. <sighs> <sighs> wow. It's, uh... I don't know. Great. I know, right? Maybe my eyes are failing me. But I don't see no seaside. It's not about the sights, but the smells. <laughs> ah, how that fresh salt air tickles the <laughs> nose. <laughs> well, come on in. <laughs> so no matter which one of the two hotels you pick, Johnny's gonna come out and go, all right guys. Come to my dingy ass shack out the back here. Incredible. This is perfect. <laughs> what a way to have Johnny come back in. Okay, let's get everyone checked in. Tifa, you'll be staying in room 101. Aerith, you're in 102. As for the dudes, you can all bunk together in 103. The price? I'd never even think of charging you. Besides, oh, I gotta run. The mayor requires my assistance at this time. Make yourselves at home. Not like there's anyone else here anyway. Oh, you guys better not head to the beach looking like that. And don't even think of bringing those weapons with you. Oh. Fate is so cruel, depriving me of Tifa and beachwear! <laughs> Time for that shower? Yeah, I'd say so. See you guys soon. How soon? It's almost time! Soon enough. No need to stick to a schedule here. Right? Right! You win. Think I'll go take a walk. Though, I should maybe get changed first. Are we getting Barrett in the sailor uniform again or something else? Also, it's incredible how recognizable. There we go. <laughs> Still looking good. Well, back in a bit. He loves that outfit. They had given it to us. It's so good. Um, I love that how, like, Final Fantasy VII music, especially, is so recognizable that Johnny's ringtone is the beginning of. Now and it only just does the da, da, na, na, as like a little ringtone. It's crazy how the beginning of those songs. I'm like, oh, I know exactly what they're doing with that immediately. Uh, so we're on our own. Barrett's in the sailor outfit, which is iconic. I love that they're rewarding us with so much more of that. Again, it's like the same thing with like. They double down on the silliness. Hello? <laughs> it's almost time. All right. Johnny's just the audience at this point. So we're all bunking together in the same room. Where are the... Okay, there's the beds. Of which there are two. So they're expecting... Um, <laughs> they're expecting Red to sleep on the floor again gonna be Barrett sleeping on the floor. Hold down the fort till I get back. Time to relinquish my weapons and gear. <laughs> Alright. Cursed! Seeing Cloud without the sword on his back. Come on! Why you gotta do me like that, Shower? Uh, this looks like it'll collapse if I try to sit on it. Much less sleep.
What's a stand-up guy like you staying at a dump like this for? I can show you somewhere way better. Place is a sty, right? Shady Hoping guy. Only worth a hundred gil, and yet the owner's drowning in debt to keep it open. Takes a special kind of sucker to wind up in a mess like that, you know. How does this dude sound like Rocket Raccoon? But it's not Bradley Cooper. Place is a sty, right? Whole building's barely worth a hundred gil, and yet the owner's dr takes a special kind of sucker to wind up in a okay. mess like that, you know. What's the shady guy doing? Weird. The fact that we have to get to it by going through here is great. Beach hey, boys. How about an orb or two? Hang loose! Don't tell me you're alone. The beach is for partying. And one's not a party. It's a pity. But you don't have to be lonely any longer. We're bringing people together, solo sun tanners like you, with a special event. One we guarantee will spice up your social life. Find love at Costa Del Amor. So, will you be joining us or what? I'll pass. Aww. Oh, we we've got a robe on the move. Later. Uh so, they're uh, friends of yours? Then, can you do us a solid? Those roped people are a little different, right? And they've kind of been creeping the other guests out. I mean, look at their clothes. They kill the vibe. So, if you could get them out of here, we'd be so grateful. Speaking of clothes, they'll never let you on the beach looking like that. This is Costa del Sol. You gotta loosen up. Let it all out. And to help you with that, here's lucky ticket number seven. Take it. With that, you can play Pirate's Rampage and Card Carnival. But not all by your lonesome. Your number's the same as someone else's. Mm -hmm. Find them, and you've got yourself a team. Work together, master the games, and you'll earn companion cards. <laughs> you can turn those in for beachwear. And once you're dressed to impress, you'll finally be ready to hit the beach. Right? right? So, start searching and let the fun begin! Best of luck finding that special someone! <laughs> Hang <laughs> loose! <laughs> so they just pair me with some random person that's also got seven. <laughs> and then we find beachwear, and that's how we get onto the beach. Despite what the robed individual's presence suggests, beachwear is required to access the waterfront. Participate in Costa de la Mora events to earn companion cards, then exchange them for more beach-appropriate ensembles and hit the sand. Where's my still suit? I'm Wadib. Let me onto the beach. So this will be our vendor. All right, um, I'm gonna go and hit the <laughs> hit the rides, baby. Oh, it's so weird not having the sword. There must be a weight off Cloud's back for real. Who wants to go on a pirate? Oh, Barrett's here. Yes. Shoot down enemies on the high seas and capture the heart of your special someone. You're here, Barrett. You're my Who special wants someone. To go on a pirate's rampage. Shoot down enemies on the high seas and capture the heart of your special someone. Hey, got a ticket for this thing called Costa del Amor. Don't know what it is, but it's happening here, so... It's a special event for, uh, meeting new people. But looks like you and me got paired up. Wait, what? Why do you care about meeting new people? For the companion cards. What do we have here? Looks like it's right up my alley. Whoa, hold on there. You use firearms for a living, don't you? Sorry, but I can't allow you to play this game. Amateurs only. That's our policy. Oh, it is, is it? Why didn't you speak up sooner? I don't see any signs either. This is false advertising. <laughs> I'll do it. <sighs> Just don't embarrass us. He, like, he's at a disadvantage to hold a gun with a hook hand, dude. It's not like he's got his gun arm equipped right now. Oh my lord. This is so good. 
the fact that it's like it's a uh, um, uh, for meeting new people, and we got paired up. Why do you care? For the cards, man. I'm here for the cards. I gotta get beachwear, dude. Forgo Swashbuckley in favor of sharpshooting as you aim to hit the fiendish targets and earn a high score. Let's go. Uh, okay, so if we get 15,000, we get time material. Hell yeah. Okay, we're gonna need to get that third rank. Time to get hasty. Play the Brigantine stage. Last minute next week. <laughs> Baron, this is false advertising. There's an aim speed, adaptive triggers. Hold it I see. And fire. <clears throat> Do I ever reload this thing? Okay, they flips around to a higher score. Oh, we got ones down the bottom as well. Oh my lord. Fifteen thousand, you say? This was just round one, right? Okay. Flips around to 200. The flipping around to 200 is so cruel. Because it's as soon as it comes down. Alright, third round. The wave. The wave transition. Oh. God, does, do they even care about accuracy? Because, like, I could just go crazy. Like this instead. <laughs> Does accuracy matter? Hell yeah! Now that's what I like to see. Woo! Bullseye, baby! Well, can I just go crazy with the shots? A bang, you hear me? A bang! Oh my god. Very nice! Beautiful shot! <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, I'm so close to 15,000. I'm at 14.1. God damn. Oh, I gotta go again. Almost got that first try. I did terrible in that first round. Thanks, bud. Hey, that's nothing to sneeze at. Well done, gentlemen. With play like that, you must have known each other for years. The shooting and the shouting was a sight to behold. <laughs> you hear that? A sight to behold. It's his job to butter us up. Oh, come on, man. Just drop the jaded act for a minute and take the compliment. I promise I won't tell. Fist bump. Anyhow, I'm off to enjoy the beach. Don't leave me hanging too long here. <laughs> good stuff. All right, I'm going again. You ready for a swashbuckling good time? My partner abandoned me, but I must get 15,000. So yeah, there's no penalty for, for accuracy, so you can just literally go crazy with the, with the shooting. So knowing that, you can really just kind of... <laughs> yeah, it changes a lot once you realize that there's not an accuracy issue. The previous round was 2,000, now it's 5,000, you know? <laughs> so just, uh, just shoot to your heart's content. Oh, 
Oh, I turned down the aim speed back, so I was like, why is it going so slow? Nice. We got that 15k in the bag now. Check those now. Oh, the cactuar ones. The cactuar ones are crazy. Right, I've got 15k, so we won. So cactuars are a thousand. There you go, 17, 4, 5. That's how you win, baby. Yeah. So, I was just trying to, like, be more accurate in the first attempt. Guns blazing. Oppa game! Hooked! Yeah. Ah. Alright, I've got my time material now. Alright, next game. We gotta get more cards. Sewer goes to Del Sol in style with our wheelies. Hang loose. Hang loose. Cards? You can exchange them for outfits here. Okay, so there's multiple uh, shops as well. It's a real tough decision to make. So you get different ones at different stores? Register here for the great Cactuar Caper. Okay, hold on. Want to play card carnival? It's Queen's Blood. With a oh, you're back. You ready to draw some blood? Regina's here for Queen's Blood. Gotcha. Um, let's do... I guess that's what we're doing. Are we? Did we get paired up? Hey there. What's up? Oh, let me guess. Searching for a more partner? I am. <laughs> and now you found her. Just so you know, the rules are different for this event. Instead of the usual one-on-one -on -one format, we have to play in teams, which is why I'm glad you're here. I'm sure this won't come as a shock, but I didn't sign up to lose. With you on my team, though, I doubt I'll have anything to worry about. Between the two of us, there's no one better at the game. Wanna try your luck? Then step right on up! Team playing for Queen's Blood. Unlike the one-on-one -on -one format, Costa Del Amor allows players to compete in pairs. The house provides the cards while you provide the cunning in these puzzles designed to test your QB acumen. Complete three challenges to win. Damn, okay, so pre-built decks. I'm playing a win, baby. So we get Fleet Wing, partner Regina has already completed this challenge. If you complete it as well, the two of you will proceed. What's a more fun than a game of Queen's Blood? A puzzle! Your opponent has laid their cards on the table. Place yours in the right spot at the right time to emerge victorious. Okay. This is an interesting way to play it. Come on, hit him where it hurts. Card puzzle. Alright. So we're a team, but like... Interesting. So... I can only play one card, so... Oh, but you can see what you can get out of it. Well, we'll see how that plays out. Does Regina make a move or no? Yikes. Just... Yikes. Why are you saying yikes? I'm doing the best move here. Now I have all ranked two. Oh my god, Cloud. You are hopeless. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to get more... I guess I'm supposed to get more power. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was going for, like, upgrading all of my squares. I forgot. Regina, I don't need this shade. Now my victory means nothing. <laughs> Thanks. 
I'm useless without my own deck. No, it's okay. Um, I just misunderstood the game. That's fine. Okay, this time I play to win. Okay, well, I guess the, the thing is I have to put down this to get to a two ranking. Huh. Interesting. And then I guess if I do... This. Keep that up and you'll do fine. Okay, so I just misplayed between these two cards, and now we win by one point. Gotcha. No, that's not bad. Understandable. Have a nice day. Fleetwing. That's a good card. Okay, round two. Herd your chocobos into a single lane to boost your score and find the path to victory. We get a posh chocobo. The magic pot is already in play, okay. What's your next move? The posh chocobo, look at it. Okay. Be the move. Playing it pretty safe, I see. So they've got nine and seven, so I need to get above sixteen. How am I supposed to do this? Because the Chocobo's ability, it won't let me view the ability of the card. I'm trying to remember because Chocobo, Chocobo increases power for each allied card, I think. I'd never tried that. Okay, that's the wrong combination. So this one has when you win the lane, you receive a bonus score of three. So if I'm to put this chocobo here, huh. interesting, and then put posh chocobo here, I win the lane, so I get a bonus of three. Huh? Didn't know you had it in you. Then could have done worse, that's for sure. But I still lost though, because like I can't beat nine and seven, which is sixteen. Unless it does fourteen plus three, so I've got seventeen. I was wondering if the plus three already added to the total of fourteen. Did we win? With is it fourteen plus three? It is. Nice. Damn. Okay, so that's how it works. I misunderstood. So if you win the lane, the bonus point of three is separate from the total. What's a more fun than a game of Queen's Blood? Have the Moogle Trio summon the Mage and Bard to your hand, then use their unique abilities to come out on top. So we get Moogle Trio and our companion card. Not able to increase my Queen's Blood rank for a while. <clears throat> okay, so I need to do this to get the specific cards in my hand. So I guess we'll play this first. Playing it pretty safe, I see. Then... It seems as if we are to... Raise the power of allied cards. Um, so... <clears throat> That'll do that. Hmm. 
I gotta put this one here to get rid of the Cactua. Keep that up and you'll be fine. Oh, and then I can. Okay, hang on. If I put that there. Okay, interesting. I have to make good use of this card specifically. So I think if I do Fleetwing feels like I should be making and taking advantage of this. I've never tried that. Okay. That was the wrong move. Because that pissed off Regina. Yeah, this is a loss. Do us both a favor and just scoop. Okay, so that's a loss. So we've got to put the. You hear me? Maybe. What I actually have to do is do this. Huh? Didn't know you had it in you. And then we do that. Huh? Interesting. Then we've got a little more space on the board, and I can actually get rid of that one. And then I can focus on, yeah, I can put this in the back and raise these. That's not bad. Get rid of... Hmm. I guess I gotta go for this one. Destroy each one of these. This one takes it down to a six, so I assume we want to do this one. Could have done worse, that's for sure. And then <clears throat> this guy needs to go here, and then I win. Keep that up, and you'll do fine. Okay, gotcha. Card puzzles me. Card obtained, the Moogle Trio. So I guess you automatically have a Moogle Mage and a Moogle Bard as like bonus cards. It doesn't actually count for the total of your deck listing. You'd get those cards automatically, I assume, which is pretty fun. Unless you need to have Moogle Mage and Moogle Bard in the deck as well. Congratulations! You two sure know how to win in style. Come back whenever you like. Thanks for being my partner. Haven't had that much fun in a while. I could be persuaded to go again. That's a funny way of asking for a favor. <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment, but I don't play matches I already know I'm gonna win. Would much rather spend that time upping my game. <sighs> Sadly, I don't meet many people who can teach me much. Though I did run into you. Anyway, I'm sure we'll see each other around sometime. Good luck! Oh my, shot you down. We also offer one-on-one -on -one matches though, so don't worry about it. I don't play matches I know I'm gonna win, except for when I'm the grand champion on the cruise. I hope you have a great match! Oh, there's more to do, and you get new cards. Dude, Tonberry King. Um, power down practice. Practice using the Archdragon skill to enfeeble your opponent's cards. Um, no reward for this one. But I already have Archdragon in my deck. But it's level 3, so I guess we'll run through these as well. One on one, baby. Time for us to continue and reap the rewards. Alright. Archdragon time. Um, hmm. We take out that one and then put the next one there, then we get a two space. There we go, yeah, nice. 
Arch Dragon success. Skill drill. Easily done. Okay, in this four card challenge, your opponent has laid their cards on the table. Deploy your Spearhawk and Cactuar cards at the right time to take advantage of bonus spaces and claim victory. Look at those cards over my side. Uh, okay. So the Spearhawk raises the power of allied cards by two. So I should be able to throw one down over this side. I can take control of some squares here. It's not going to push me over the edge for anything though. That goes to a plus five now. There you go. Nice. It's weird to do the puzzles this way because it goes against all that I've learned in Queen's Blood so far of like trying to put it on strategical positions to win the game, but I have to do it in a, in a very specific set path to win the numbers. <laughs> Alright, we got Spearhawk. Take advantage of the double power up there. Sea Devil by Night in this limited deck challenge, your opponent has laid their cards on the table. Beware the Mind Flayer at the center of the board, it will sap strength from adjacent cards and destroy them. Sacrifice your Mandragoras in order to enable your Sea Devil's skill and emerge victorious. Alright, we've got to put the Sea Devil to use. Oh my lord, okay. So, sacrifice Mandragoras power up things on the board around them. Alright, so when you play Mandragora, you get a minion, and when you need to get the Sea Devil down like as soon as possible, because when cards are played from the hand, raise it by one, so you have to get the you have to get the Sea Devil down as soon as possible, so I gotta throw this one in just to get this to level 3. Then we can throw down a Sea Devil. Then we can throw down another Sea Devil. Nice, and now the power-ups can begin. So now we do power-up time. And then this is how we slowly build our, our empire. Nice. And then we we put our minions down, which are going to still die, but they'll still power up the cards. There you go. And then the last one. Victory has been achieved. There you go. Interesting move. So yeah, you want to get that Sea Devil down straight away. One of those ones that's like you need to get to three very quickly, which is possible. And a kingly clash. As your own forces wane, the Tonberry King's power grows. Use this skill to your advantage by destroying your cards with Death Wheel and Mind Flayer, then unleashing the King's Karma. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, so we get the Tonberry King card, which is awesome. There's the Mithril Golem. So, when allied cards are destroyed, raise the power by two. So you kind of want to have that on the field as soon as possible as well. But it's only when allied cards are destroyed. So if I put Tonberry... Hmm. I 
think what I need to do is... Is if we put the two zoos here... Now I can put Tonberry King down here. Yeah, we put Tonberry King here. And then the Mind Flare goes here. Destroys cards. Or we'll begin to. And then. Hi -ya. Nice. Powering up the Tonberry. Destroys another one. Powers up the Tonberry. And then we do it again. Wow, okay, there you go. Tonberry King is now at 15. We get a total of 16. That's the combo. It's like, will that work? Yes. All right, so Tonberry King goes down as early as possible before you start destroying cards. And now we have the Tonberry King. That would go down quite well with the Midgard Sormer as well. Wonderful, okay. We have finished our puzzles. No Queen's Blood to play to up our ranks, sadly. <laughs> no opponent available. Sadness. Okay, well we got another companion card, so now I can get uh, multiple pieces of clothing, I believe. Register here for the great cat So this is one of them. Hang loose. Got any companion cards? You can exchange them for outfits here. Oh no, you can get both at one. There you go. Wild Surf and Ocean Chocobo. A simple ensemble for those who want to cut loose and ride the biggest waves, and a casual ensemble for those who want to go with the flow like a bird in their element. Nice. Well, I got both. Slip into your beachwear at one of the changing booths set up at convenient locations around town. Have a wonderful day. Changing booth is right here. The fact that they actually have the menu for X Soldier First Class. Come on, guys. Give me all of my previous outfits, my soldier disguise. Throw a little bit of Advent Children in there. Do it. All right, we've got to do Wild Surf. That's just the rules. There you go. <laughs> it's cursed. All right. We did it. We have our outfit. We're going to the beach, baby. Go to the beach once you're ready. Oh, it's so weird. <laughs> it feels like I'm playing... A Final Fantasy 7 nude mod, but it's but it's normal. This is how it's supposed to be uh, Can we participate in run wild? I guess we'll do that after the beach And if you like what you see now That was some short shooting. I want to play Queen's Blood next Down here down here Oh, uh, hello, hello, fellas! You got to take those robes off. You got to get to the beach. Looks like you're more than ready to enjoy the beach. Would you like to head on down there? I love that they're like, ref like just letting the robe dudes come in. <laughs> There's Barrett. It's beach time, baby. <laughs> now where's Hojo? Maybe later. <gasps> What's with them? Talk about killing the vibe. <laughs> hey, what's up? They're getting some sun too, huh? Yeah. Just can't help but feel sorry oh, for them, yeah. you know? Poor uh, bastards ain't done nothing to nobody. Creeps. But we treat them like monsters all the same. You're freaking everyone out. For real. Take a hike. Hey, you leave them alone! <gasps> That's the sad part of it, them just being experiments. 
<laughs> Red. <laughs> Thanks for keeping watch. I'll only be a sec. Take your time. <laughs> uh, well, the water won't turn off. <laughs> Johnny sure found himself a real fixer-upper. Kinda reminds me of home. Are you almost done? Aerith? Aerith, are you alright? Tell me, what color would you say this is? None. Thing is, it used to be white. At least, it was back in Midgar. Materia is formed from the life stream itself. Orbs infused with knowledge, memories. Memories. The whispers. They took all that from mine? These memories were precious? Yes. Extremely. Weren't you headed to the beach? Some time with Tifa might lift your spirits. All right, something weird's going on. Something weird's going on. So, there's a voice that is question marked, right? There's the, the strain, a stranger's voice. Um, but it's only Aerith and Red 13 are around. And I think it's the same thing. Like when we were listening in on Junon in, in the inn, it was like a stranger's voice. And we're like, who's in there? And then it was just red. So I'm, that's throwing me. That's strange. Maybe I'm not piecing something together that I should be right now. I don't know. But it's, it's strange. And the white materia that Aerith has, has like been like drained of its essence. It's clear. It's empty. There's nothing there. And it was, it was fine in Midgar. And at the very beginning of this game, when we see Zack holding Aerith, the white materia falls from her. This is really interesting. But I don't know what the hell's going on. Very confused. Because Red's just lying down, but then he's like, there's someone talking with Aerith. And it's it's red, but it's I'm not around alone would be ill-advised. I insist you take Tifa. I guess we'll have to figure that one out. By waiting. <laughs> Painfully. Is there a reason why Aerith was using Cloud Shower instead of her own? <laughs> Alright, let's go get Tifa. It's like whenever a scene like that plays, I, I want to replay it immediately to just be like, what did I miss there? Hey, Tifa, you ready to soak up the sun? Cause I sure am. Uh, yeah, in a sec. Ready. Now let's find us some resort wear. And then we can finally hit the beach. Yeah. Let's, let's roll. roll. <laughs> Oh, nice. Girls, Delamore. Press L2 to swap between Aerith and Tifa at any time during their date. Note that who you control will not affect the story. So they're just like, that won't affect anything, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> That's funny. Let me check in here. So what was she doing? Alright. I guess we're ready to go. And Red's coming with us too. 
Red already has beachwear, so he's fine. I like that you can do the... Because <laughs> you can do your dodge in between. It's very funny. We'll twirl our way to the beach. Got a real good selection today. Hang loose! This door you really look hungry. like you're on the way down to the water. If you're in the market for some beach attire, why not participate in Costa del Amor? What's that? A special event that'll make your time here unforgettable. And don't worry, your pet can join too. Well, in that case, sign me up. <laughs> Perfect. Then here's one ticket for the two of you. 77. And one for your doggy. With those tickets of yours, you can run wild on the pet playground, ride around on wheelies, or... Uh... Oh, there's also the photo contest. And you can't miss the piano recital. So go out there and be sure to have yourself a ball. Hang loose! Hang loose! Okay. <laughs> Ready to have some fun? Yeah, let's go. I love it when Aerith does weirdly unexpected things like that. Okay. Hey, you want to lead the way? Sure. Absolutely. Why not? Okay, we got multiple things that we can do. So we can do run wild with Tifa. You've got the wheelie rendezvous, Cactua caper, the piano recital, and then the beach. All right, time to get outfits. You actually get to assemble the outfits for the others as well. Paradise for animals, big and welcome to Run Wild. A pair. Today's first place prize is none other than Costa del Sol's famous tropical meat. So, do we have any takers? Don't be shy now. We gotta win that for red. You want some? Then I say go for it. My, what beautiful red fur you have! Ready to run wild? Then step right up! Right, this makes sense. So this isn't racing, but it's red. Run wild free for all. Oh my god. Okay, hello. Four teams duke it out. <laughs> in this ferocious battle to see who is king of the jungle. Chase the ball around on the field and shoot it into your opponent's goal to win. There's a Shinra hound in there. I've read just shoved the ball into a small dog. All right, this will be good. All right, we got a dash, jump, shoot, and lob. Um, companion card for Aerith, tropical meat, emerald, and a silver collar. Okay. We must win. Blue team, yellow team, black team, and red team. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, you bastard. Red team. Let's go. Rocket League. Oh, God. Hang on. No, get out of here, you bastard. Where's the ball? No, no, no. Get out of here. Yeah, on to the black team one. He hit it in for himself. Let's go. The black team is running wild. Oh, does that count? What do you mean? Wait. Not, not right now. Yes. Wait. Okay, they're losing points. I see. I see. No! Okay, you lose a point, not gain a point. Right. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Well, you get out of here. I'm bullying the black team. Another ball. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, no, that's my own. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, yeah. Uh, dog, get out of here, you stupid mutt. Yeah. Where's the other ball at? Oh, God. Oi, get out of here. It's my ball. It's my ball. 
Oh, you blocked it by doing nothing. Yeah. There we go. Get out of here. Alright. So, Black Team is the most aggressive. The Chocobo is basically just a goalie. Oh. 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 Blue team is doing something, I guess. Alright. Oh, god, hello. Oh, the, the, uh, no, no, no! Get away from here! That's got it in. Oh, no! I missed it. Blue team's taking a breather. What are you doing? Yellow team is out! Ha! You're out of here! Alright, blue team. Mm. Don't fuck around. <laughs> Red team! Good boy! That was amazing! And for your owner, a companion card. Make sure to come back soon! Was it just as good as you were hoping? It was the finest meat I have ever tasted. Thank you. He left the apple. Oh, Johnny boy! You can still make it in time! Johnny? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude! That camera angle is so cursed. Oh, Shinra's coming in. Where's Johnny? <laughs> Where's Johnny? Okay. Let's go follow him. Found your perfect partner yet? All of our rendezvous wheelies are taken right now, Costa del Amor is underway. You know what I love about this bridge and this spot? It's like just like the original. And I love that so much that this little bridge area that goes out to the coast is as close as you can get to recognizing the original map from the previous for the original game. They're just giving out swims. Alright, where did this chopper come in? What you doing, Johnny? I wonder what kind of guy. Tifa! Aerith? What are the two of you doing here? That's our question. And what's with the bag? Luggage for a Shinra executive. Gotta make sure it gets to his hotel safe and sound. Seriously? You're working for Shinra now? After all that talk about how much you hate them? Mayor's orders. After everything he's done for me, I gotta. Don't look at me like that! I'm not some dumb sellout! <laughs> Is he staying in our hotel? We should go. Yeah, you're right. He's gotta do what he's gonna do because the mayor basically gave him his whole thing. It's an auto-piloted helicopter. <laughs> okay. So Johnny's just gonna take the bags on his own. Where is this guy? Oh, this would be the executive. Oh, he said he was coming by boat. So much for that. And then oh, he okay. expects me to drop everything because he arrived three hours early? Would it have killed them to tell me about all of these changes ahead of time? Okay, so that's not the executive, just another dude. Got these dudes on the wheelies just crashing in. Oops. Me crashing into them too. Alright. Wheelie rendezvous is now closed for the yet. day. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, you taking part in Wheelie Rendezvous? I'm so sorry. We like just stopped our Wheelie Rentals for the day. You're How could you? You're kidding me. What should we do instead, Tifa? Tifa? You're not from Sector 7, are you? In Midgard? Huh? Oh? Yes, I am. Seventh oh, Heaven? Tifa, my light, my love, nay, my everything. You're not quoting Johnny, are you? He is. She is. See, I was expecting someone very different. Someone metropolitan and chic, 
who lights up every room she walks into. I have no idea what he sees in you. Um, excuse me? Stow the tood? It's fine. Yeah, she's got attitude. Uh, you. I get this all the time. That's what do you mean? Kind of humble brag? <laughs> hey, Jenny! Don't just stand there. Go get the unreturned wheelies. Don't tell me what to do. Ugh! How come everyone here thinks they're better than me? I'm just giving you work. Screw this! I quit! Uh, should Jenny I and Johnny. So, you're friends with her, right? Since no. you quit, would you mind picking up the rest of the wheelies for me? Yeah, sure. We'll do it. You don't have to please everyone you meet. I know, but I still feel like I owe it to Johnny. So I figure maybe if I do this for Jenny, I'll have given him back something. Or maybe I just want peace of mind. I guess. <laughs> Let's get those wheelies. The fact that in the Final Fantasy VII universe, Tifa is apparently just, like, average. <laughs> and everyone's like, you're not all that. I was expecting someone else. Tifa's like, yeah, I get that all the time. When she's literally perfect. <laughs> it's so stupid. And then she was, like, talking about Emilio from Nibelheim. Oh, she, he was with someone who could be a model. It's like, yeah, and? Well, this is the Final Fantasy universe. Almost every single character is a model. Pick up Jenny's slack by retrieving the red, blue, and yellow wheelies scattered around Costa del Sol and returning them to their color-coordinated parking spots. Oh, awful. Oh my god. This isn't a fun media game at all! How goes the hunt for world intel? Should you require assistance, please do not hesitate. I look forward to seeing what- No unique dialogue by talking with Chadley as Tifa. Well, what is this arbitrary rule? Can't you make an exception just this once? Oh, or you, you could be my partner. Would that be okay? Uh, I, I don't think I'm allowed. Oh, uh, hi, how can I help you? <gasps> you. <laughs> my work is already done for the day, so all that's left is to enjoy my stay. <laughs> that's nice. You know, if you're looking for a partner, why don't we team up? Huh? You mean it? <laughs> I sure do. Oh, you're a lifesaver. In that case, I'll go on ahead. Those cactuars can't hide from me. <laughs> <sighs> that war. Okay then. Just take this camera and find the four cactuars hidden around town. All right, let the capers commence. Jesus. Seek out the four Del Sol Cactuars hidden around town and take photos of them to complete the event. Press left to view the map showing their locations. Press L1 to take a closer look. Once you've found a hidden Cactuar, pull out your camera and snap a shot. Find all the Cactuars yeah. hidden around town and you'll be capering right along. Today's Royal Coast concert. So when I get on one of these, I've got to like return this to... Here? Save your aching feet and ride a wheelie oh, instead! Is that right? Yeah. So, most of them have already been if returned, you, you just gotta find some stragglers. Line. Oh, there it is. The kids are hanging out near it. Got one! Set your zoom to 30%. Oh. It won't let me zoom in any more than that. It look I, I, I can't zoom in any further than that. Okay. Do I have to... Can I step back? Why aren't I allowed to zoom in 30%? Oh, what the fuck? It'd be like right in front of it. Oh, there you go. Okay. Got it. Del Sol Cactua oh, found. Isn't it the cutest? I just love these little guys. <sighs> Is this what they call love at first sight? Because I adore this Cactua. Okay. Get out of here. Shinra man. 
Uh, okay, so that's that one done. Now I need to go... I can go up this way to the docks. And there's also one on the inside. All passengers, oh my god! Gotta be something around here. So he's always nearby the photo. Hey, a cactuar! Each little guy we find is one more happy memory we make together. Let's go find another. Let's go find another. Except it's just you doing all the work. Register here for the great Cactuar caper. This will be just like the yeah, the tutorial sh showed this one for us. We'll be Del Sol in style with our wheelies. I'm afraid to ask. Oh, is someone shy? Hid yourself well, didn't you? <laughs> At this point, I can't imagine life without you. We should spend every day together. Just imagine how splendid it would be. Yeah, thank you. All right, last one is in if you have a to, bit. Please proceed to the lobby. Why can't I get over here? Thank you. <laughs> Nothing better than not working. Okay. Where's this last one? Oh, there it is. Where's this last one? Got him. Oh, my petite prickly pal. I hate to think that these might be our last moments together. All those hours I wasted working that I could have been spending with you. And yet, I still hold fast to the Shinra creed. Loath though I am to part, I cannot shirk my duties forever. Oh, what am I to do? Okay, let's go and report our success away from the middle manager. And then I can get back to wheelie duty. Let it all hang loose and enjoy your time. Can close the book on the Cactuar Capers. <laughs> I suppose I ought to thank you for helping bring some Amor back into my life. Say, if you don't mind parting with them, I'd love to send those Cactuar photos to my wife and daughter. Just a small way of letting them know they're always in my thoughts. They're yours. <laughs> I really needed this. Can't lift my family's spirits if I can't lift my own. <sighs> <laughs> yes, sir. Is oh, uh, forgive me. I'm on my way. <sighs> Don't work too hard. Peculiar ringtone for the Shinra manager. I hope your remaining days here are filled with fun and romance. Fun and romance. All right. Well, it's currently filled with finding wheelies. I just hope I don't get partnered up with a total. Today's Royal Host concert will begin Save shortly. Save your aching feet and I'm ride a wheelie instead. Right. Monster Burgers calling your name. Come get a taste of the monster that's sweeping Midgar. Who's ready to party in? Going to cruise the sea. She did a perfect job. But why is Jenny just watching us? An overachiever? Oh my god. This is funny. So Jenny quit. We're returning all the wheelies, and she's just watching us do so. She's just being jealous of us. Is that what Johnny wants? Save your aching feet and ride a wheelie instead. Perfectly executed. Again. And she even made it easy for the next person to grab one. If I'm impressed, what must Johnny think of her? 
Oh my god, okay. Found your perfect partner yet? Don't now time to return the next color. Extra. Got a real good salon from the newest oh, God, it's just some dumb wheelies. Why does she care? <sighs> of course Johnny would fall for a girl like her. I've been going about this all wrong, haven't I? Jenny, over here. We brought all the wheelies back for you. Going to give up on Johnny. There's no way I could ever compete with you. My way of saying sorry. Take them. There's two cards there, so have fun. Hold up. Thanks, but that's way too generous. Uh, this one's for you and Johnny. I bet you'll have a more fun together. I think you've got the wrong idea. Johnny and I are just friends, nothing more. For real? The way he talks about you, I figured you were. You know he likes to exaggerate. True. <laughs> and of course, he also has a habit of getting carried away. I would feel a lot better if he had someone to back him up. Keep him out of trouble. Oh! So you're foisting him on me. Is that it? <laughs> Nothing like that. Sorry. Forget I said anything. Anyway, thanks for the card. I'm glad we got all this straightened out. Plus, now I know Johnny's a free man. So, I might as well shoot my shot then, huh? See ya! Jealousy looks so good on people, doesn't it? <laughs> Tifa's overwhelming generosity beat her out. <laughs> Alright, so we took two cards, then returned one. Uh, we've now got to do the piano recital. We're stuck with every little thing you need for your. I'll buy him a ring as a souvenir. Monster burgers call in your name. I'll get a taste of the. This place. Time to go to play the piano. The ticket. Please proceed to the lobby. Oh, Andre's here. And Madame M. There's a concert schedule today. Or was, at least. Something came up, you see. The pianist decided to skip town. At least he was kind enough to leave behind a letter. Said he had decided to elope. What? Elope? The heart wants what it wants, and who are we to deny it? However, without a pianist, there can be no concert. These fools called us down here because they thought we knew a replacement. Even between the two of us, it's not like we know everyone in every business. Mm hmm. Oh my. These hands. These fingers. <sighs> they have the strength of a warrior's and yet are so very delicate. You've played the piano before. That much is obvious. Yeah, I mean, kind of. I did take some lessons when I was a kid, but that was ages ago. I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear you playing the goddamn piano. Now take all the ivories. Power of music imbued in my fists. Rum. Rum. <laughs> Practice the piano, all right. You're our only hope, Tifa. Don't let my massage go to waste now. This concert has to succeed. We're counting on you. All righty. What song are we playing? Oh, it's Tifa's theme. Okay, it's her own theme. Lovely. Very good. Let's try and nail it on the first try. I 
I missed it. <laughs> I missed the first note. No, that's it. Oh, I have to, God damn it. <laughs> I missed the first note and I can't restart. We're off to a good start. I love this theme so much and I still have to talk over it because YouTube copyrights the piano themes, baby. So we got to do our best to talk over it. Oh God. But also when I talk, I make mistakes. Maybe at least we'll get an A ranking. Jesus, I went way too fast. I'm speed running this song, apparently. <laughs> oh, it's a train wreck now. It's a train wreck at this point. We've ruined it. That's so bad. <laughs> oh my god, no. We had we had a good run. And by that I mean we had no good run at all. Jesus. Oh, we, we tried our best. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Avoiding YouTube's copyright is a nice little game of its own, isn't it? That's the mini game that I have to do every day. Ah! I'm actually missing notes on purpose uh, to throw YouTube off its scent, guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. That sounds very good. Oh my god. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> Look, 115 great notes is better than nothing, right? Um, done. We hit the final note, one of them anyway. <laughs> Hell yeah! I've been roused from reverie, thanks to the occasional slip up. Oh, pardon me. I actually didn't make a single a mistake. Rendition. Now yeah, then, thank you. Let's give our pianist a warm round of applause. <sighs> Rank B for the best. Damn thank it! Thank you so much for performing. Here you are, a companion card and a memento. What we give all our concert goers. Now. As for what we owe you for your performance. <laughs> Allow me to speak for the lady. <laughs> First there's the call rate, then there's my finder's fee. And on top of that... <laughs> She's a businesswoman. I word from the pianist who eloped. He and his partner left for a place where nothing can come between the two of them ever again. It seems your performance didn't just save the hotel's reputation. It also saved a relationship. <sighs> May the next time we meet be on the stage of the Honeybee Inn. Until huh. then, my liberators of love. <laughs> if this game actually allowed us to return to Midgar and go through Wall Market and see him at the Honeybee Inn, that would be absolutely peak. Like, if we were allowed to go back to Midgar within this game, I would adore it. All right, we're going to try again. I got to get the, the full thing, but I have to focus, which means no talking, which means I can't play the music because of copyright. So uh, let's get into it. God damn it, only two good notes there. <laughs> oh, you feel those so painfully. And we got the A grade, which is fine. But oh, we didn't get the star ranking. I think you only get like the top tier reward anyway when you hit the A rank. But I don't even know if there's a reward to be won here. Outside of when you very first do the thing. There isn't that old man there for Cloud. So I got the A grade. I'll have to take it. Now, I believe we now have four tickets. So two for Aerith, two for Tifa. Am I right or am I right? Costa Del Sol in style with our wheelies. Hang loose. Got any companion cards? 
You can exchange them for outfits here. Yes, perfect. We've got two for each. Uh, majestic Glamour, a stylish ensemble, and an adventurous ensemble for those who frolic in the shimmering sea. Majestic Glamour or Shining Spirit. Okay, well we get both. This is nice because in the remake, it was like with Cloud's dress in Wall Market, you had to do a bunch of things and you only got one, so it gives you replayability to go through that whole thing to get different dresses. I like that you get the opportunity to get both here. A breezy ensemble for those who want to bask in the tropical sun, and a bold ensemble for those who want to live it up in paradise. Alright, there we go. Swimwear per chest! Let's get dressed. The fated day has finally arrived. <laughs> Pride of seventh heaven, that's cool. <clears throat> Awesome. So that's Tifa and Aerith, Floral Delight or Pink Mermaid. Great stuff, everyone. Good job today. Nice. All right. We did it. Bathing suits achieved. Hmm. <clears throat> Your aching feet. Okay, I'm afraid to ask how many calories are in one of these. To the beach, everyone. Nice touch. I can tell you're just dying to hit the beach right about now. Ready to rock? Do you even have to ask? It's beach time, baby. Oh. Slow motion, dude. Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? <clears throat> Tifa, you look as sleek as a dolphin, and you, Aerith, are as luminous as a. Sea. Cloud and Tifa have the same taste. <laughs> that your way of complimenting us? Human beauty is hard for me to assess. Human beauty is hard for me to assess. Yuffie. <laughs> totally my type. How's it going? Like, seriously. Uh, look at these two. Uh, not even trying to blend in. Uh, Honestly. Well, Did you miss us? Cloud? <laughs> Something wrong? Uh, no. Nothing. <laughs> no it's way. Uh, in the sun. <laughs> Speaking of which, you guys should probably put on sunscreen. Cloud. <laughs> you might want to go first. Bruh. <laughs> Make way, people. Back it up. Oh, the Shinra executive what? is Hojo. Hey. Why didn't I why didn't I realize that? What a wonderful surprise it is to see you again. Ah, rest assured, I'm not here for Aerith. Though, were she to offer her assistance, I'd gladly accept. Don't hold your breath. Oh, I won't. At any rate, a very special show is about to start. One starring you, perhaps. Now, this is <laughs> so much fun. Hey, what do you have you know? you you How has he still got the babes? <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, my God. So okay. Good. Care to join me in the lab? If you girls sign up with Shinra, you'll be set for life. Oh my god, wow, Hojo. Quite an offer. And as luck would have it, I'm in need of a few. No! Hojo! <laughs> Think about it. You could help give birth to the world's next hero. That would be no. so cool. No, 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 Before no, no. Hero strikes down his foe, he must strike them with awe at his beauty. Hojo! By virtue of innate greatness, only by inspiring others does he earn the title. Do you follow? It's admittedly a lofty concept. Too lofty for me, but it sounds amazing. Okay. 
pause. We have things to talk about once again. Um, first and foremost, that is Red 13's voice. And I think it shows that was our little tiny hint that he's actually putting on a voice to sound like wise and gruff and like I'm older. And this ties in with his character because in the original, you have like Bugenhagen teases him for a bit. He's like, he's like a teenager. He's old, but in human years, he's only like 16, right? Uh, so I think that's what that is. When he talks to Aerith, his guard is lowered and he actually talks to her in his natural voice. I think that's what that means. That's why it was throwing me off because that's never, they've never done that before. So that was just like, whoa, I think that's what that is. And he had a slip up moment because he got uh, flustered. The specific choice in swimwear is funny as well. So because we both chose the more revealing one for Cloud and Tifa, they have the same taste and therefore focused on Tifa and Cloud's dynamic and our relationship changed. Tifa bends over and Cloud is staring right at those cannons and she points it out. She calls him out on it. She's like, something wrong? She like leans into it <laughs> and he starts getting flustered again. That's just, it's so perfect. You guys should put on sunscreen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, the Shinra executive thing, I didn't know how that was going to go because I was like, all right, I know that Rufus and Heidegger are usually around this area in the original game. We haven't actually seen them, which is quite interesting. But as soon as I we were on the beach and I saw Johnny, it clicked because I'm like, well, Hojo is also here in the original. So he gets flown over here to witness uh, this event and supervise. And then this is some heavy original Final Fantasy VII larger storyline spoilers, just as a little preface. Hojo talking about, hey, I need some female assistants to help me uh, choose my next little hero, potentially. Because Hojo is, you know, the father of Sephiroth with Lucrezia. Lucrezia really passed up Vincent for uh, Hojo and created Sephiroth. Really interesting behavior, that one. Uh, that's a tragic backstory in itself. Uh, so Hojo... What he's saying there is he's being serious <laughs> because he's capable of doing that. He's going to put those girls in a lab and make test tube heroes. Ugh. Just the way that he says it is so disgusting. Uh, but apart from that, uh, this is absolutely perfect. <laughs> there you are, Professor. So glad you could make it. I trust my girls are making you feel welcome. There's nothing sexier than a man in a white coat. Say, Professor, oh, they're still going. I, I polished those glasses for you. Care to savor some of the local delicacies, Professor? Here, open wide. So they, they again, they managed to drum it up to be even more silly than it was before. Like having Hojo surrounded by women is now having Hojo surrounded by. Uh, women who are obsessed with also the mayor providing the women and like the, the stuff that Hojo is talking about so awful all right we're gonna take a look around the beach I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break all this water uh, and then we will proceed okay let's take a look around shall we it feels like there should be opportunities to talk to characters in moments like this like how there was like in calm but then you just don't what are you guys a doing great deal of skill there's no tougher exercise around understood yes, yes sir hit the watermelon with the baseball bat okay sir blindfold has been secured very good man commence operation watermelon smash sir i thought this was a training exercise Operation Watermelon Smash. To help you strike unseen foes. It requires a great deal of skill. There's no tougher exercise around. Understood? Yes, yes sir. <laughs> Can we swim? <laughs>
swimming unlocked. All right. See you later, everyone. We're going out. <laughs> We're going to explore the world. Not very far. When I first played Final Fantasy VII on PS1, I always wanted to go into the water. There were people swimming, and I was like, I want to be where the people are. Swimming and drowning in the ocean. The opposite of Ariel. <laughs> and now I get to achieve that dream with Shirtless Cloud. Tacos del Sol, Bumbles, Tonberry Spritzers. Tonberry Spritzers. What are you looking at, boy? You're hanging out with the, uh, hanging out with the robed men, huh? All right, let's have a chat with Hojo, huh? Who's being pampered by the girls. The mayor's just watching. And, uh, he's come to observe. You mind if I, uh, roll around in your little hot tub here? Johnny. <laughs> How's Yuffie gonna get in here? the call too, did you? What are you talking about? <laughs> Not consciously, then. As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get-together. So, line them up. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, <hi. laughs> Hojo's laying it on heavy. Okay, let's move along, sir. This way, and stop. There you go. You can't to do it. Perfect. Be shy. Go right. What the hell are you playing at? That, my friends, is for me to know, and for you to find out. Fiends. Oh, ooh. Dude. What in the world? Oh, nice. Yep, fiends. <laughs> I was like, what? That's so over the top. He's doing more experiments. What? Not cool, man! Not cool! <laughs> Not cool! God, Hojo is despicable. They somehow able to they're able to make him even more despicable. <laughs> yes! Only a reunion could produce such results. Ooh. Capturing the specimens. I have specimens worthy of my attention. Sick bastard! I'll kill you! Barret! <laughs> Now's not the time. Are we fighting in our bathing suits? Yes, <laughs> we're fighting in our swimsuits. But we don't have any weapons, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. Weapon parameters transferred, okay. Why does Aerith have her weapons? What the fuck? How does Aerith have hers? Get your equipment in order before entering the fray. Barrett has his little scissor arm, okay. Aerith gets her pole, huh? Beach time battling. So, I love that this gives so much more context for Hojo coming to Costa del Sol is he's actually doing experimentation. Like he gets his curiosity peaked with the whole Genova fiend thing. And he's like, I've got to test this out for myself, <laughs> which is very good. But yeah, Hojo is laying it on heavy in regards to your brothers are hanging out there. He's not being coy about it. Also, I love that it's a uh, cloud that has the like the parasol, because that's actually a weapon for uh, Aerith in the original, the parasol. But now we've got it in a different way. Your relationship with Tifa and Red 13 has changed, so it affects who you help. There you go. I thought so. Um, I probably should have changed my equipment, but I think we'll be okay. I've already assessed this group, so... <laughs> <laughs> Cloud getting into action with an umbrella. Now. 
This is Kingdom Hearts fighting with a stick type shit. Calling ice. <laughs> now. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> it it's so cursed not being in our proper outfit with our proper gear. And like Tifa as well. Just like going for it. They're gonna be more. Oh no, Barrett's put the gun arm on. There you go. He pulled that out of his ass. Oh. Serendipitous. Our ancient return to the fold. We're so glad you changed your mind, Eric. <laughs> Where do they even get their weapons? Oh my god, okay. Dude, I gr <laughs> grasp Drapod. Alright, cool beach boss fight. How do we deal with this? Then we get to listen to the music. The Grasp Drapod. A robot manufactured by Shinra's advanced weaponry division at Professor Hojo's request. It restrains targets with its tentacle-like appendages, then abducts them with drones. Inflicting enough damage or landing synergy skills and synergy abilities will pressure it. After a certain amount of time, it will use missiles and drones to capture targets. After using Breakneck Spin, it will overheat, rendering it temporarily inoperative. I love it when we get to fight up against a new Shinra weapon, because they always have such cool, weird-ass designs. The ones that they added in Remake were fun, and this is the same. Silencing solvent. Let's do this. Keep it together. We have our synergy ability. Copy. Just some beach time fun, dude. Oh no, red. Get red out of there. He's no. Oh no, not specimen 13. Oh, the way that he talks about them all when he captures them. No, that's my boy. Let's get the stagger. Release him! Immediately! Wait, you got Tifa as well? Oh my god. Okay. Let's try that again. Hey. Can't do synergy abilities when it's just me. Look at this thing. What do I do? I can't even do any more damage to it. Come on. What do I do now, huh? What do I do now, huh? I just have to wait. Ho-ho! And then there was one. Come along quietly now. Oh, okay, you got me. Well, you got me. That's all of them. And thus I take my leave. What do we do now? Oh, it, dude, yes. It makes so much sense. That's how she joins the party. Spoil your comeback? Hell yes. You did good. She gets to join the group now. It's not gonna go down easy. But I've got an idea. Do me a favor. Keep it busy. Yes, do we get synergy abilities with Yuffie? Synergy abilities with Yuffie, I need to see it. 
you open them, you see where I am contained within your every cell. <laughs> I love that this is during battle. You want to help him, don't you? Then you'd better hold huh? still! Huh. Let's wrap this up. Having cutscenes mid-combat is so cool. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, it's got cylinders, not weak points. Again, Cloud's weapon skills to attack weak points, I keep realizing I should definitely be focusing on. Yeah, yeah. yeah having the cutscenes take place mid-battle uh, is really cool. I love that a lot. Uh, Ojo, hello. I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> what are you doing? Ojo! Ojo, I'm fighting! What are you doing? Oh god. Duck around it. You can't sonic cannon me, asshole. Call lightning. That's fine. Oh, okay. I won't give up. Oh, okay. Whoa! Oh, it's still going. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Got you. All right, he's finally overheated. Ain't dead yet. Just a one v one. There we go. See what you can do. Let's do this. Now you're in. Limit break cross slash with the umbrella. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> What are you doing, Johnny? Oh, it's Yuffie underneath the robe. What the? Oh, dude, she's doing ninjutsu moves. <laughs> dude, that's so funny. And gotcha. Shadow ninjutsu. This is so sick. She's doing like. <laughs> dude. Okay, that's so hype. Death Moogle beams. <laughs> Victory. Okay, Yuffie, you're hired. <laughs> Let him oh. Go. We've done enough. <laughs> Johnny. My lord. That's perfect. And now we chill in the evening. Sunrise, uh, sunset, looking like uh, Yuna's about to perform a summoning. Perform the sending. <laughs> nice. I get so excited that I can't even get my words straight. Sunrise, sunset, summoning, sending. I'm like, oh, just so overwhelmed, dude. Oh, that was so cool. Just like really fun and unique way to do the fight. Uh, are they letting us keep the umbrella weapon? <laughs> now we can talk to our friends. That's because of Hojo this place is in ruins. No, I can't blame him for our actions. 
I know I should strive to maintain my composure around him, but... Yeah, you should. You could have handled things better back there. No, that's I not what I meant to do. Like to be alone now. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, that's not what. No, get me the hell out of here. I, I picked the wrong. I freaked out. I picked the wrong button. Get me out of here. <laughs> Take me back. How dare I say such a thing to him? That's not what I should have said. <laughs> I don't know. I saw the timer and I went, oh, I just can't even think straight after that battle. It was so fun. There was so much going on. Places and ruins. No. I can't blame him for our actions. I know I should strive to maintain my composure around him, but... Don't sweat it. Anyone would want to punch that smug asshole. I know I do. <laughs> Your fists and my <laughs> fangs. They change position as well, by the way. They're in different spots. You should go check on the others. Hate to say it, but that girl really came through for us back there. Unlike me, I couldn't do a damn thing for those poor bastards. You shouldn't blame yourself. This is on Hojo. Damn straight. That asshole's gotta pay for his sins. And it's up to us to make sure he does. Yeah, Hojo is absolutely despicable, dude. And they really dial that up. I kind of hope that one day, I don't know if it's going to be a setting for like, if you play chapter selection again or anything, if you could like change the time of day at will, like if you could change it to night and stuff like that, but I doubt it. Having a drink all on your own? <laughs> Couldn't find the bartender, so I uh, helped myself. Costa del Sol. Mm. Used to make him back at the bar, and here I am. Drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since Seventh Heaven. Yeah. Lots well, happened since then. A lot. Good and bad. Ever wish you could just... snap your fingers and forget the worst stuff? It's a part of who we are. Whether we like it or not. Yeah. The deepest wounds never really heal. Hey, I can make one for you too, if you want. No, I'm good. Next time I ask for a cocktail, it'll be at the new Seventh Heaven. At least, that's what I promised Barrett. <laughs> uh, when exactly did you promise him that? Sometime. All right, Mr. Secretive. You do you. Why was Cloud's hand so broken? He's like holding it like... Ah! <laughs> I hope I can come back here someday, stare at the ocean, listen to the waves. Uh, it's a day. Uh, talk to Aerith. Is Yuffie here as well? As soon as we're in an area where we're kind of not meant to go to, we definitely slow down to a bit of a, a slow walk. Oh no, I can go out this way. It was just when I was near Aerith. That's all closed off. Access to the private beach is prohibited. What are you doing out here, bud? Late to the party once again. Why do I even bother? I'm finished. No, the company can't fire me if, if I fire myself first. You hear that? I quit! Hey, Rufus, take your Mako and shove it up your ass! <laughs> the character development of this dude, by the way, because, like, he was in Remake as well. So I love that he has just consistently shown up. What a what a journey. Screw you, Shinra! Screw you! <laughs> uh, you hear that, Rufus? Perfect. We've come so far, but it still feels like Midgar's right behind us. We were his prisoners, me and my mom, Athalna. He kidnapped us because she was a Cetra. A 
specimen for his experiments. And after what he did to her, after all the pain and the horror he put us through, I hate him. Sometimes, I imagine the things I'd do to him if I got the chance. I start thinking things so dark and ugly that it scares me. Everybody's got someone they hate. It's normal. Is it? It doesn't feel normal. What I'm trying to say is, worry about the future when it comes. You'll know what to do. And whatever you decide, I'm with you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Shall we? Cloud sun glistened abs. No need to worry about the future till it comes. Not until the moment arrives. And when it does, I'll be counting on you. Oh! Not you. That was to her, my future self. Can't say when you'll meet, but trust me, you'll love her. Just you wait. We got a brand new Final Fantasy Go does this right back up there with Renoa. <laughs> oh, dude, goddamn. That's a touching scene, especially with uh, knowledge of the future. But a very touching conversation to have between the two of them. Worry about the future when it comes. Aerith, who's had her memories stolen away and her white materia rendered colorless. It's moments like these we have to hold on to. Mm. Okay. So that's chatting with the party. Yuffie is still not here. Hope I get to bring Marlene here someday. I know she'd love it. I love that it didn't go the way that I was thinking. Like, Yuffie showed up, I'm like, oh, this is how she joins the party. She's going to come in and, and help out, and you'll get into combat with her, and this will be her combat introduction. You know, they're really teasing it, and I really like how they're doing it. It's kind of funny, because Yuffie can join your party in the original at multiple points in the game, the earliest being on your way to Junon. Uh, and I just love that she's got this sort of passive outside approach to, like, she's trying to work her way in. And she, I feel like that is now the event. Like, she's rescued or helped to rescue everybody. Also, what a cool ability. Like, cloning Johnny as, like, a decoy is uh, so enjoyable. All right. So we can head back to... You ready to leave? Yeah. We can, uh, we can go back into town. And head back to the five-star hotel. So this time we didn't have Hojo giving us any directions of where to follow Sephiroth because we're still following the black robes. So it's interesting to see how our journey is different, but our destination is the same. And that's what well, this game is all about. This ends our fun in the sun. Yeah, no fun ain't the word I'd use. So back to the hotel. Johnny's famous sea smell is. Let's go, baby. Johnny, he <laughs> speed up. <laughs> What's up, guys? Johnny, are you all right? <laughs> Never felt better. You're the man of the hour. I don't know. You see, a few kind girls who saw what happened on the beach gave me the lowdown. On the hotel and Mayor Capono. Ugh, I'm a moron. How could I be so blind? 
You borrowed a lot of money from him, right? Will you be able to pay it back? So... The girls told Capono, keep leeching off our hero and we'll smear your name so bad Shinra will kick you to the curb. And the crazy thing is, it worked! He caved! I am footloose and debt free, baby! <laughs> That's great! <laughs> Johnny, the local hero! Proprietor of the Seaside Inn, soon to be Seven Star Resort Hotel! Now that would be something. You know you gotta get one star before you can get the other six, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, but I got plans! Ow, 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 ow! Well, good for you. <laughs> uh, you okay there? Great. Now watch him fall up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good. And we go to sleep. That's it. That's our fun in the sun time. Thanks for everything. Nah, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, what's next for you guys? Gotta follow some ropes. Oh, those dudes shuffled off toward Mount Corel this morning. Tried to get the injured ones to stay till they were healthy, but... Corel, huh? Corel it is. Be safe, you guys. Wouldn't want anything to happen to my inaugural guests. Bon voyage. Barrett's not excited. He's like, Corel, huh? On the road again. All right, we have our group. We've rested. Um, I'm wondering what there is for us to potentially still do around here. There might be something. I'm going to check out the piano as Cloud. Uh, but uh, all in all, a very enjoyable section in Costa del Sol. It lives up to the holiday resort. I love that they gave us quite a lot to do. The only ones that were kind of a little bit dragging on there is um, the Cactua hunt and returning the wheelies. Uh, that was a little bit of a silly one. Uh, I spy a very stealthy looking ninja up on that rock over there. I feel like this is where we finally get the, hey, I'm, let me join scene. I feel like that's coming up now. I feel like we should indulge our uh, ninja over here, shouldn't we? Uh, hello. Aren't you all forgetting about someone? And action. Is this the audition? Some know me as the world's greatest materia hunter. Others. An unstoppable assassin. And the rest, a benevolent and beautiful ninja. But who am I truly? Who ties what throws? The one and only Yuffie! She gave us the intro again from Intermission. That's so funny. Cool. <laughs> hey, hold it, you spiky haired jerk face. Where do you think you're going? Challenge you to a duel. If you win, you get the honor of serving yours truly. However, if you manage to somehow fluke your way to victory, this amazing ninja will agree to join you. <laughs> what do you say? Oh, this is it. They're doing it. They're doing the recruitment, just how we do it in the original. Oh, it's like that, huh? Where's your pride? Your fighting spirit? <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid you're about to catch a beat down? They're, they're doing it. <laughs> of course you are. I mean, who wouldn't be intimidated by my awesome ninja skills? But have no fear, weaklings. For I, the most beguiling of ninjas, will be your new best friend. Well, bet you're thrilled, huh? <sighs> sure. I knew you'd say that. Well, seeing as you're so desperate, I guess I'll oblige you. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Yuffie. <laughs> 
Chapter 7. There it is. You try anything funny, anything, I'll shove you in the sister ray, point it at Wu Tai, <laughs> and blast you back home. <laughs> I hear ya. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you won't regret this, or my name isn't Yuffie Kisaragi! Yeah, she's in. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's see over here, and... <laughs> and she fits in. There you go. Slip into your beachwear at a changing booth and around, enjoy a stroll around town in some appropriately summery attire. Note that you will automatically change back to your default outfit upon leaving the area. God damn it. <laughs> <clears throat> the Shinra 8 will ferry you between Costa del Sol and under Junon whenever you wish. Speak with the crew member at either port to fast travel between the two locations. Johnny now also provides a fast travel service in Costa del Sol. Speak with him or his assistant to have them escort you around town. <clears throat> there it is. The full group together standing there. There's our action pose. Uh, amazing. So we've got some quests to do around here, which is good, uh, starting off in Chapter 7. So that was a great way to end it. I love that they mimicked the recruiting Yuffie from the original game, where you have to be very precise or you're going to have stuff stolen and then she vanishes. And it's so funny how they do that. Uh, I love that they included that. It was really neat. Uh, thank you so very much for joining me for today's episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I had such a fun time. And our crew is slowly building. Uh, it's very well paced in terms of all of these, the character development stuff happening. And now we have Yuffie. And then we just wait for the rest. But thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you next time.